Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and best way to use a waiter's corkscrew. And of course, if at the ending of the video you feel like purchasing this exact waiter's corkscrew, make sure you check out the link in the description below. All right, we've all seen it. This is your classic waiter's core screw. You probably have one in your drawer and got frustrated because you just had not very good success in using these. But I promise you guys right now, if you just understand a few little tips on leverage, this is the best way and classic way to open up a bottle of wine. Let's go over the parts really quick. You have your foil cutter here. And this one just happens to be serrated. And I love the rosewood handle on these, really nice. You can get these in a lot of different uh, varieties. So there's your foil cutter, and then we're going to open it up. This is your, I don't know, some people call it a foot lever, some people call it a fulcrum. This has a double ledge here. So here's the first one here. Let me get that into focus here. Here, and here's the second one down here. So there's your lever, and then you have your, your worm. And they come in a different varieties. You're most likely going to see this corkscrew one. Sometimes you see an auger one that looks like a drill bit, but this is the most popular. And you want to make sure you have nice spacing in between these. Uh, then you also have a bottle opener on most of these. This one is located right there. Book. All right, let's go over some of the areas that I think people get stuck on because sometimes I get stuck on them too. But the first thing is getting a nice clean cut on the foil here. So a lot of reds have this lip here. So you want to cut the foil here. If not, you can kind of come right underneath that lip. But you want to try to cut it here. So I'll show you how to cut that off cleanly, or at least how I do it. Second is getting the worm into the cork. Uh, it's just a matter of angles and leverage there. I'll show you how to do that too. And the third portion I think people get stuck on is once you get that worm in, I think people think you're just supposed to pull it out that way. No, that's what the lever is for that we're going to see. Uh, let me show you how I cut off the foil. All right, let's cut off the foil here. So I got the foil cutter here. And to my experience, it's very difficult to get one clean cut all the way. So it's better just to kind of go maybe quarter turn back, quarter turn back, or half cut, half cut. But the important thing is you just go back over the area that you were at. So I'm going to go here, go back here. You know, I just kind of work my way around here so that I'm giving it a nice double cut there so that when I go back around, it should come off nicely here. Okay, I'm just working my way around. Okay. And that should have it there. Okay, so now you got a nice cut all the way around. And now you just take the tip of that. And that should pop right off. And that's how I get that clean cut with the foil. All right, the first thing I want to go over is don't try to stick the worm in from the top like this. You would probably do that with a, a winged opener. You know, the ones with the wings that open, you can go in from the top. But when you're using one of these bad boys, you want to give yourself a little bit of leverage and just tilt it to the side so that you can jam the worm in that way. Now, once you've got this tipped over to the side, you want to use your finger as a guide to kind of put it right here in the middle. And you notice how my fingers are right here. You don't want to start from this angle because you can only turn it this much. You really want to try to cock it all the way this way. So don't start this way. Start it this way. So when you guide it in, you have more of a rotation all the way around like this. And you can just kind of guide it right into the middle. All right, so I'm going to tip it over. So I got a good angle of attack here. Grip it up high. I'm going to cock my hand this way. Use my finger to guide it in and just give it a little bit of a twist all the way around. And that's going to be enough to get it started just like that, right in the middle. All right, and then from here... My camera is going to be in the way, so I'm just going to back this up a little bit. We're just going to keep turning. So right about maybe that I might have gone a little bit too far. You might want to leave one more coil. Uh, but here is where you would stop. And here's where we're going to use the lever. Here's where you don't want to just pull it out this way. What you want to do is use this lever here. So you want to come over here see let me see if I have enough space I'm gonna go too far okay see how I'm kind of using that ledge right there so you're gonna make sure that it doesn't come too far over just catching the lip here and now you're just gonna use that as a lever to pull the cork out okay you're gonna have to keep going keep coming and sometimes you can get it on the first one if not you go to the second ledge if your opener has one and there you go all right guys that's simple just pour it ah 
so good. Cheers, guys. Hope that helps out.